Throughout the Harry Potter series, we hear multiple perspectives on the duel between Albus, Aberforth, and Grindelwald, which killed Ariana Dumbledore. However, none of the boys are clear on whose spell hit Ariana, or if the spell was even a killing curse at all. I've come up with the theory that Ariana was in fact not killed by the spells that hit her on that day. Instead, I believe her memory was wiped, and she was somehow transfigured into Credence Barebone, whom we meet in the Fantastic Beasts series. Now, let me explain why I believe this theory to be true. First of all, it's fairly obvious that Ariana is an Obscurial, just like Credence. In the Fantastic Beasts series, Newt describes an Obscurial as a witch or wizard who instead of learning to control and harness their powers, they suppress them because of persecution. Ariana was attacked by a group of muggle boys when she was a child because they saw her doing magic. Here's a quote from Aberforth Dumbledore that describes what Ariana was like after the attack. It destroyed her, what they did. She was never right again. She wouldn't use magic, but she couldn't get rid of it. It turned inward and drove her mad. It exploded out of her when she couldn't control it. And at times, she was strange and dangerous. But mostly, she was sweet and scared and harmless. This explanation from Aberforth perfectly describes an Obscurial. Ariana was persecuted because of her magic, which led her to suppress it inside of her. However, she could never truly get rid of it. When she became emotional, it would explode out of her and she would become extremely dangerous. This quote also shows that Ariana's personality is very similar to Credence's. Throughout the Fantastic Beast series, we see that Credence is gentle, kind, and timid, until he is provoked by his evil mother or Grindelwald. Credence and Ariana also have very similar storylines. For example, they both killed their mothers when they turned into Obscurials. Also, they are only able to be brought out of their Obscurial form by a few trusted people. In the Deathly Hollows, Aberforth Dumbledore tells us that he was Ariana's favorite, and he could get her to calm down when no one else could. In the Fantastic Beast series, we see that Newt and Tina are the only characters Credence trusts enough to defuse his temper. Now that I've given my evidence that Ariana is an Obscurial just like Credence, I'm going to go into how she could have survived the spells that were thrown at her during the duel. In the first Fantastic Beast movie, we see around 20 Aurors simultaneously throw spells at Credence with intent to kill. However, he ends up surviving which shows that Obscurials can survive spell damage that normal wizards cannot. So I think that even though it may have looked like Ariana was killed, she, like Credence, survived. Another reason I believe this theory to be true comes from something Grindelwald says in the Crimes of Grindelwald film. Grindelwald says that he's been hunting Credence for so long because he's the only entity on Earth that can kill Dumbledore. Now, this got me thinking. Why is Credence the only entity that can kill Dumbledore? I mean, he isn't the only Obscurial in the world. We know this because Newt has an Obscurial just sitting in his briefcase. I think Grindelwald believes Credence is the only entity that can kill Dumbledore because he somehow found out that he is the reincarnation of Ariana. Grindelwald knows how much the death of Ariana tormented Albus. He knows that if Dumbledore ever found out who Credence really is, then he would never be able to kill him. Therefore, if Grindelwald can turn Credence against Albus, then he thinks there's a good chance Albus could be killed. Now I'm going to talk about memory, and why I think it's so important to this theory and the upcoming movie. The first two trailers have both opened up with lines from Dumbledore talking about memories. The first trailer opens with, If you listen carefully enough, the past whispers to you. And the second trailer opens with Memory is everything. Without it, we are blind. I don't think it's a coincidence that both trailers have started off with lines about memories and how important they are. I believe that Dumbledore saying we are blind without memory is referring to Credence. Credence has never known who he is or where he comes from. He is completely blind to his past. I believe this is because he was Ariana, and whatever spells hit her on that day not only transformed her, they also took away any memory of who she was. Well everyone, that's my theory on why Credence is actually Ariana Dumbledore. In the comment section below, let me know what you think of my theory, 
and whether you agree with it or not. If you enjoyed the video, I would also appreciate if you hit the like and subscribe buttons. This is just the start of my YouTube channel, and I'd really appreciate the support if you enjoy my videos. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you next time.